Hello from Minute Maid Park, uh, fresh off the news conference as the Astros introduced uh, their new addition, Jose Abreu. Pleasure to be joined here by our Esquina.com editor and longtime Astros uh, beat writer, MLB writer, Jesus Ortiz. Good to see you, man. Nice to see you. Thank hey, you. Uh, thanks for hanging out with us and talking about this move, man. This is a, a, a huge move. You just got out of the news conference, as did I, and hearing from Jim Crane, Abreu, and Jeff Bagwell. I want to get your take initially just on the player that is Abreu and what he immediately uh, hates his brains in this lineup. Leadership, power, potential, one of the best hitters in baseball. Simple as that. And a guy who's 35, but he's proven, if you look at his numbers, this guy can, I mean, he didn't have it last year, 15 home runs, but he's averaged close to 30 home runs per season in his career. Yes, absolutely. I mean, just two years ago, he was the American League most valuable player. And when Jeff Bagwell tells you he was their number one choice, I talked to his agent. They approached him as soon as they could by MLB rules. That's how important he was to them. He solidifies them, solidifies the lineup. And, you know, three years ago, he sent uh, the Cubans and the Latino stars on the Astros breakfast. Last night at dinner, he showed his phone to Jim Crane and dang near had all the phone numbers of the Astros roster. Wow. That tells you about what this guy means to Major League Baseball in general. Yeah, and being a fit in the clubhouse, Bagwell hit, about, hit on that. He said, I know his talent, but he said adjusting in a clubhouse on a team that – has the the, the uh, that's built already to win and win at a high level. That's important, as he said. That's very important. I will compare him to Jose Altuve as, as far as a clubhouse presence. Steady leader, not much drama. He's not going to say crazy things. He's just going to lead and do his work. Yeah. All right, Jeff Bagwell spoke. Uh, interesting how he's, uh, it seems like his position is being elevated. Says he doesn't want to be the GM. I think he'd make a great one, by the way. Uh, but what do you think about his role now with Jim Crane? They're tight, and he he's an Astro, man. And he, he actually he enjoys being a part of this, and he was involved in the negotiations dealing with the Abreu. Yeah, this is great for baseball in the city of Houston because Jeff Bagwell, he left a lot of money to stay here, as you well know. He cares about this community. He cares about the Astros. And this, who knows more about baseball than Jeff Bagwell in the city of Houston? But what I found was interesting he, that he admitted that he personally thought the Astros skewed way too far to analytics. He didn't mention James Click, but it, the question was clearly about James Click. Yeah, and uh, that's going to be changing a little bit too as uh, the rules change in baseball. Um, do, do you see him sticking in that position? I mean, he, he, he twice in that interview he said, I don't want to be the GM. But Jim Crane can, you know, they're tight. He can persuade him a little bit, could he? Maybe he'll be the president of baseball operations without the title. That's what I think he already is. <laughs> he said we're not done yet. Jim Crane's added that to where do you think their next steps are? I would assume that their next steps are try to chase Verlander, but their pitching is so strong they may just go elsewhere with that. But they have some money to spend in that. maybe a corner outfielder. Don't ask me any names. Yeah. And this team already coming off the World Series, already built to be another World Series threat. Yeah, absolutely. Diego Benz, you just saw Jim, Jim Crane. Diego Benz told me that Jim Crane's commitment to winning was a key selling point. Second only part to the family. Yeah, Jeff Bagwell right there. So exciting times. Uh, big move by the Astros. More perhaps to come. We'll see as they continue uh, to build this roster. Jesus Ortiz from OurSkina.com. Long time be right. Good to catch up. Talk a little baseball with you. Man. Thank you very much. Nice talking to you. That's the latest from Minute Maid Park.